Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today in internet news, it's disappearing. Now we have to talk about that and what that indicates for basically the future of humanity. I think this is an important one and here's what's going on. So first things first, let's talk about the nuts and bolts of a recent study uh, that essentially was conducted that really got me thinking about this. Now, apparently of the web pages that existed in 2013, that's 11 years ago, 38% of them are gone. They just don't exist anymore. Even newer pages are disappearing. 8% of pages that existed in 2023 are also no longer available. Now, pages tend to disappear when they are deleted or moved. That happens on otherwise functional websites. That's according to the study that I'm talking about from Pew Research Center. And that oftentimes happens rather than happening when whole websites disappear. Okay, that's great. But here's the crux of the serious issue. This effect means that vast amounts of news and important reference content are also disappearing. About 23% of news pages include at least one broken link. 21% of government websites and 54% of Wikipedia pages now also include links to their references that no longer exist. Much of the same effect is also happening on social media. One-fifth of tweets, for example, on Twitter, aka X, have disappeared from the site within months of being posted. And so overall, 25% of all pages uh, collected between 2013 and 2023 are no longer available. Of those, 16% of those pages came from a website that continues to exist, while 9% were located on websites that simply don't exist at all. So by virtue of that, almost 1 in 10 websites are gone. Now, apparently the old adage of if you put it on the internet, it's there forever, really isn't a thing anymore. And so that's the backdrop of this. So the real question here is, why is this happening? And so personally, and I'm not cribbing from anybody, these are my notes and my thoughts I think there's a couple of different reasons. One, the obvious one is people abandon things, right? You might have tried starting a blog about your dog or food or something, and then you simply gave it up. You might have ditched a social media account at some point, and on and on and on. You might have deleted a tweet because, well, you shouldn't have posted it. That leads us, though, to one of the real issues that we've got here, and that's the battle between the ever-growing expansion of user-generated content versus the space it takes to store all of this long-term. I mentioned the other day, we're having kids. Our population is over 8 billion and continues to grow very quickly, which means we have a legion of new internet adoption every single year, meaning a whole bunch more content created, not to mention the existing content creators. So think about it this way. Every single day, according to studies, 720,000 hours worth of content is uploaded to YouTube. That's just YouTube, and that puts the estimates of YouTube's total storage space and capacity in its data centers across the world at one exabyte. Now, if you don't know what an exabyte is, that is one million terabytes. That is enormous. Now, combine that with Facebook's uploads, TikTok's uploads, and everything else, and you start to see why this is basically in the best interests of these platforms to find better ways to both compress and store data to optimize space with more effective algorithms, higher capacity drives, constantly replacing lower capacity drives, but also remove your content as much as they can when something appears to be no longer in use. We are expanding data centers left and right around the world. New construction on data centers is one of the largest sectors for the construction industry, but it's consuming a massive amount of energy and resources, and that is growing and growing and growing and growing. And so we are also generating enormous amounts of e-waste as well. To replace a whole array of, let's say, a thousand hard drives with a thousand new hard drives, you've got waste. So what's the solution here? We're, we're not going to stop producing content. You're literally listening to this right now as I am generating content on YouTube and SoundCloud and everywhere else I'm posting this. But how do we assure basically that part of the human record from stupid dance videos to very informative news and reference material remains for future generations to research and reflect on? There's no easy answer here, but it starts with data classification. We need to prioritize that which we need to preserve. We need less stupid dance videos that will come and go that are fleeting, that a million people are doing, but those reference materials to a news event, if they're lost, that we have a problem. Conspiracy theories start, speculation starts when we have a record that is no longer a record. So I'll leave it to you to decide 
what to do, but I think it starts with understanding where, what our data is, where our priorities and storage are. And while the Internet Archive is great, if you don't know what you're searching for, you'll never find it. So that's not a total solution to this as well. We need to come up with something better. And we should have that discussion. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well, where there's a ton of content. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.